This unfinished section of the Indian Creek Valley bike trail I'm currently walking on was just used in the recent past as a logging road for the Municipal Authority of Westmoreland County. They were doing some logging back here. And in the uh, far past, this was the railroad bed for the Indian Creek Valley Railroad. But uh, in the near future, we're hoping to improve it. Make it into a usable section of the trail. So today, I'm out here just walking out to these stream crossings. One goes over an unnamed tributary to Indian Creek, and the other is an old uh, railroad bridge that goes the whole way over Indian Creek. Just doing some measurements here. See my little measuring wheel tick, tick, ticking away. It's going to tell me how far it is from the entrance of this trail on Route 381 by Camp Christian. How far the entrance at that entrance is to the first bridge crossing over the unnamed tributary to Indian Creek. As you can see, I'm running into some muddy, muddy trails here from vehicles that pass through. either quads or trucks from Municipal Authority of Westmoreland County, hereby referred to as MAWC Mock, to make it a little easier on my mouth and on your ears. So we're coming up on the first bridge crossing here. So this crossing is a temporary crossing put in by the logging company that was logging here. Since the old railroad one had washed out long, long, long ago. And you can see they're cutting, the stream is cutting into the banks on either side because these culverts are so blocked up. And they're not allowing the water to flow through at the rate they were designed to. So this whole bad boy needs replaced with a permanent crossing. Indian Creek's pretty high today. It's a raging, raging, raging river. Well, let's see over here. We got some perennials coming up. Not too keen on my flower IDs, but maybe someone knows what these are. We press on toward the big railroad bridge over Indian Creek, known in uh, common circles as the Steyer Bridge. Looks like we got some got some beaver damage on this tree. Ooh, there's some ducks. Check it out. Spooked them right off the shore. As you can see, this part of the trail's got a lot of, a lot of drainage issues. A lot of water likes to pool here. So that's an issue we're going to have to tackle when we go to develop it. All these little yellow flowers you see coming up this time of year. I believe today is March 19th. 
This is a colt's foot I recently learned. But it is, once you see it once, you'll see it everywhere. Some kind of flower blooming over yonder. Wish I could get over there. Here's some of the old railroad ties embedded in the fill. That was a pretty majestic beech tree, don't you think? More railroad ties embedded in the fill. Really big puddle here. Just walk right through the middle of it. It's the best way to get through. We're coming up on the Steyr Bridge. You see that big dark looking lump way off in the distance. That's a bunch of logs that Mock pulled out of the pulled right on out of the stream, Indian Creek. Because they were all they were blocking the piers. They were all stopped up on the piers of Steyr Bridge. Big old log jam. Another big patch of Colts foot. I always love sycamore trees. Always interesting, very organic looking tree. Check this one out. There's a little limb that goes out that way. And it has a big one that goes up this way. Sprawls out right in the sunlight. Well, this is a different tree than the big one I showed you, but you can always tell sycamores real easy. Because on the bottom they usually have this sort of nice little platy, little flaky, dark colored bark. When you move further up the trunk, 
that starts turning into this real flaky peely like a sunburn revealing this little layer here it's like this greenish sometimes even white color that's an easy way to tell a sycamore All right, we're getting very close to the bridge. I can almost smell it in like a metaphoric sense. Here's the log jam. I believe this is the log jam Mock pulled out from under the bridge. And you'll see, here's your sneak peek of the bridge. We'll get up closer in a minute. We'll go down and check out this love this quad trail first. Seems they're going down this little offshoot as opposed to crossing the old railroad bridge. You're going down here and crossing into crossing Indian Creek, coming out over there. Don't know if you can see that too well. I kind of focused on my finger. I'll zoom in. Maybe you can see it. There's a little opening that veers off to the right. I believe that's where they're going back and connecting with whatever source they come in from. Let's turn back around and get the little wheelie stick and see how far it is to this bridge. And right when we kiss the bridge, 3,200. 82 feet from Route 381. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So the Steyer Bridge needs some new decking and some new railing before trail users can get on it and safely cross over to the other side, which takes you out to Route 653. Thanks for joining me on this trail journey today. This is Jace Marsh, signing off.